Well, this month we are highlighting stories to raise awareness about breast cancer. And while most women who are diagnosed don't have a family history, for those who do, knowing that information and telling your doctors can be life saving. Here's Brooke Katz. Connie Sweeter and her daughter Michelle Burnt have known for years breast cancer runs in their family. Uh, see, grandma was 50. Um, three when she found out and died at 59, and my mom was 57 and died at 59. Oh, wow. Connie was 53 was in 2009 when her doctors diagnosed her after a routine mammogram. Thankfully, she caught it early. She never imagined two years later she'd be helping her 29 year old daughter through a battle for her life. I was pregnant with my second child, and I told my OBGYN, You might want to put in your record or my records that my mom's going through cancer. And they said, well, gosh, does it run in your family? And I said, well, yeah, if I ever had it, I'd be fourth generation. Knowing their family history, both Michelle and Connie opted for genetic testing. Both tested positive for a BRCA2 mutation, which meant a much higher risk for breast and ovarian cancer. Michelle made the decision to have a preventative double mastectomy, but a discovery just before surgery changed everything. Two months before the surgery, I was showering and I found the lump myself. Not only was it cancer, but it was invasive and it was already starting to spread. And so here this preventive surgery turned into a surgery to save my life. And by the time we found it to the time the surgery happened, it had already grown an inch. Michelle's entire journey is part of a documentary by Baylor Scott and White called Dallas Hope. She had both breasts removed, eight rounds of chemotherapy, 35 rounds of radiation and a hysterectomy. It scared me to death. You know, the doctors, you know, even when she first went in, they said they didn't really think it was anything. And then when they did the biopsy, you know, they were shocked. I mean, it just seemed like every step of the way, it was just one more thing and one more thing. At one point in my journey, I had no breasts, no hair, and no ovaries. Emotions, Michelle says, she wasn't prepared to face. But in the middle of her fight, some light. In 2013, just after finishing chemotherapy, Michelle won Mrs. Texas International. Now it's been 10 years since her diagnosis. Both Michelle and her mom are healthy and cancer free. I'm happy to be alive. You know, you, I take every single moment and embrace it because you don't know when it's going to be your last. They're on a mission together to make sure all women dealing with breast cancer know they are not alone, and they hope their story sends a message. Take your family history seriously. That genetic testing 100% saved my life. And that was Brooke Katz reporting. The American Cancer Society suggests women with a family history of breast cancer start screening with MRI and mammograms when they're 30 and then continue for as long as they're in good health.